Uh, I mean, there's three debates scheduled right now. We don't know if President Biden is going to show up at them. I qualify for those debates because I've been polling consistently over 15 percent, and that, Eric, is the metric uh, for determining who gets to participate in the debate. So I'm look for, looking forward to debating both President Trump and, and President Biden. So, so in the other one is that the other metric that you have to achieve is you have to have be in enough ballots to achieve a 270 electoral college vote. In other words, you would have to be on enough ballots to, to win the electoral college, even if it's just 270. Are you there yet? And do you expect to be there? Yeah, we're going to be on the ballot in all 50 states uh, and the District of Columbia by the time that the uh, by the time the debates are scheduled to occur, we will be on all those ballots. So if there's a debate in the the uh, the commission on presidential debates, that, those are the two metrics. Number one, you had to qualify what you do. You were born in America, but the other two were 15 percent, five national polls and then enough state ballots to, to, to achieve 270, you're there, you say you will be there. What about the money, Robert? How, how's your money? Because, you know, the, the question was, would Nikki Haley maybe run on a no-labels party? And then it seemed like her money was running out. Are, is your money solid? Do you need more? Or where is it coming from? No, we had a record month last month. And, you know, we've been consistently eating, either beating or at least tying uh, President Trump and President Biden in fundraising for our campaign, and and we're we're fighting this battle with it with our arms tied behind our back because they can actually raise up to a million dollars per donor, and we're restricted to sixty six hundred dollars per donor. But our campaign itself is is beating uh, them pretty consistently. They, you know, they, of course, the uh, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, sir. I don't, I, don't, party I don't want to interrupt you, but uh, over on this, a lot more money than we can. But you know, our super PACs are raising money as well. Uh, so the, allow me, sir. We, uh, it, we feel that we're going to be uh, we're going to be able to compete. Right. Against, I, uh, I just want to let the folks know that was Jill and Joe Biden. Election. We're, I'm running against two two candidates who are the least popular candidates to ever run as a as the head of a major political party in American history. 70% of the American public say that they don't want to see this contest, this, uh, this right. reenactment of the 2020 uh, I'll, 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 let I'll let you set this up. I'll let you set this up. This is the announcement you want to make. You, you're, go ahead. Tell us what, what you're releasing tonight. Oh, we're releasing tonight, I think in, in the next 10 minutes, a, a, a speech on my take on the state of the union in our country today. And I think it's, it's a more realistic and pragmatic take than what we're going to see from President Biden. But of let, course, let, I, let, I, 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 I'm, I'm only making that prediction based upon what let, let's he's take been a listen saying to it. recently. And I think President Biden has been... Uh, it seems like he's out of touch with some of the with the, what's what's going on in this country. The the statement that he did during the Super Bowl I, on I, stagflation I, and you know <laughs> complaining there were not enough potato chips in uh, in the containers now. I think you know what we're seeing more and more the biggest issue in this country now: inflation, the border, but also the chronic disease epidemic. All which right. is affecting 60% of our kids. We're now paying more for diabetes in this country than our, our defense budget. And, you know, we don't need more potato chips. Uh, we need ki our kids in housing. We need good food. We need, to uh, we need to rebuild our soils. And we need to make sure that our, you know, our children can purchase a home. All right. We're gonna, Robert, we're going to have to leave it right there, folks. You can see Robert Kennedy Jr.'s a video that he's releasing almost a, 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 his State of the Union address. You can go to RFK Jr.'s website to do that. So we got to run. I know we're a little bit late, but we have to get to that floor and take a listen to some of the people who are coming in. Thank you, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Appreciate your time, my friend.